morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello creepy friends, welcome to Nixiebobs. And I just watched the finish for iZombie Series 3, it was crazy! Did you see it? iZombie is like one of the most underrated shows I think out there at the minute. It really doesn't get its due and it's actually a really really good show. That was like, I'm sitting here trying to like process everything that happened in that finale. So good, but now I gotta wait till next year for Series 4, not cool. So we're here today for um, a new product, a first impression and sort of a little bit of review because I've been wearing this for two days now. It is Becca's Ultimate Coverage Complexion Creme and my shade is Porcelain because let's face it, I'm a zombie vampire. This is a liquid foundation and if you've been on this channel a while, despite the randoms going on, you will know that I generally don't use too many liquid foundations because my skin just doesn't like them. It's not necessarily a new product on the market, I think it's pretty new to QVC, Becca in general is quite new to QVC, which is where I bought it, of course I did, it's a makeup product, 99% of my makeup comes from QVC. I decided to try it, I reviewed it heavily, there were two, there are actually two Becca foundations that I reviewed, one is the uh, is it a glowing one? And that had really, really awful reviews. So I stayed away from that one and instead tried this one instead, which is said to be very matte, very drying. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is Monday when it arrived, I actually did the water test on it. Uh, so apparently if you rub it into your hand and you dip your hand in water, it uh, does not come off. Now I put it all over my hand and went in the shower. So this is the result. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I'm coming in this room so that you can see it a little bit better but it is still on the hand there is a big swatch still on my hand it did not all come off in the shower and it doesn't seem to be easy to get off either so that's encouraging because it means that hope you'd hope it would hold up with oil control well but we're gonna see i guess so that was the little water test going on and it has passed quite successfully and more to the point it stayed on my hand the whole day now in the last two days i've been wearing this the weather has got considerably chillier so whereas a more humid temperature will, would really check its sweat resistant Proofability and whatnot. I can't test that right now. What I can say is in the last two days It's worn extremely extremely well, and I've actually been really really impressed it, This is probably currently the second favorite and only liquid foundation I would actually repeat by it behind Tarte Amazonian clay. I have to say my impression my impression of this my first impression is that i really really like it now to swatch the porcelain on the hand and you'll have to excuse the tube it's a little dirty because i opened it out the other day just to test it and found that i actually have no tube inside the tube now whether this is correct or not one of you is going to have to let me know according to becca it's an air filter of some kind i don't necessarily know what that means but i have a tiny little bit here and i'm going to just dab it on the hand just show you the colouring so a first impression to me that just said really orange but when you actually massage it into your hand and certainly on mine it really does wear in nicely and you don't see it it really really is nice and even that bit on my finger unless I wash that off that's now going to stay there all day so shade wise I really do like it it also seems to set in well like I've just put that on and I can touch this with my hand and already feel comfortable in it which is a really, really good thing for me. Now I'm going to apply this to my face with you right now. Uh, now my first impression of Becca didn't go down well. I bought the backlight priming filter and my skin hated it. It set off in its, it, it just brought me out terribly. It wasn't that it was close to that time of the month. It wasn't that it was close to me not changing pillowcases or not drinking enough water or not having enough fruit. It wasn't anything to do with that. It just set my skin off. My skin didn't like it. So that is not something I would personally want to use on my skin. However, this has not set me off at all. Now this is said to be quite a heavy foundation. It's full coverage, but I have not found this heavy to wear at all. I'm actually very comfortable with it. Now how are we going to apply this well the one thing we're not going to use is beauty blenders so i was really getting along well with this tart beauty blender and then this has happened i know it's gross so we're not using that anymore and then i thought oh perhaps it was just that one but then this one that i used all of once also had the same grotesque thing happen to it so yeah beauty blenders on this channel are a thing of the past because I'm never using them again. So what I will be sticking to, I'm going to use two different brushes. One is going to be my blank canvas stipple brush. I believe we got this in a glossy box some time ago. And my Tarte 
brush that came with my Amazonian clay foundation. I think it's a bamboo airbrushed, I don't know what it's called. I like it though because it's really really good. I know everyone's saying beauty blenders, they're just not for me clearly. Shame because I was really getting along with it with the application stuff under my eyes. What do I have on my face at the minute? Well number one, the only concealer I have on it is my under eye concealer which is a Rainforest to See Aqua Sealer by Tarte. That is I believe in the fairest, fairest shade you can get. I've obviously done my eye makeup uh, and I used uh, BM's original Prime Time. Beyond that, I got nothing. Uh, it's just literally my skin. Any faults can be seen. To be fair to you, my skin is actually really, really, really in good nick today. It might be worth revisiting this when I'm having a bad skin day later on in the month. Though. So how would I apply this? I'm going to take one pump like that. In fact, I took two because I got slightly small. So I've got a pea-sized amount on my hand there. And I'm going to dab one on the forehead one to eye the cheek and I'm going to have to go back and get a little bit for my chin because that's not quite enough. Like that, that's all I'm going to do. It's quite a concentrated, really, really um, pigmented, that's the word I'm looking for, formula. So you do not need 10 ton, especially if you're having a good skin day like this. In fact, I'm only going to use one brush. I'm lying to you. I'm not even going to use the blank canvas one, apart from possibly for my nose. And then I'm just going to rub this in. I love this brush so much. You don't necessarily have to take this up to your eyes. Now my method for applying a liquid foundation is part stipple and part buff, but it is literally up to you. So just from applying that to one side, it's really laid nicely on the skin. It's not set into anything. And you can probably already see the difference between A and B. It's really, really a nice product. So I'm just gonna change up the way I'm doing it over here stippled in and then buffed in so you can see where i had a slight red mark from a pimple going on here that's all covered up in one layer now i know this is buildable coverage but since my skin is good today i'm only going to need to use one layer which suits me perfectly i'm going to stipple the nose because that tends to get into things a lot lot better going back onto the forehead i'm just going to go round round smooth it down between the bridge of my nose along there down either side under the chin and that took no time at all and that's it that was that was super 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 quick really really impressive now the coverage i'm looking at this from my mirror here as with all foundation, I'm going to tell you, don't look at your first impression. So my first impression of this is that it's evened my skin, it's covered the little bindy thing I always have there. That's actually minimised a lot recently, but it's still a weird little bump going on on my forehead there. And it's really settled nicely on the skin, like zooming in to show you. It's really filled my skin lovely. Like I look covered, but it still looks like skin. I think you add start adding layers unless you really need to, unless you've got issues with your skin, you could end up looking like you've got way too much on. But for me, this is just enough. One layer for my skin as it is today, covers me perfectly as i was saying with foundations don't judge it on this first impression if you're worried that there's something sticking out so i'm going to come back in and show you this side here where i still have a few raised areas go away come back to it in like 10 15 20 minutes and then look at it because once your skin sucks it in you'll really see the benefit of it and that is all i would need to do that took what not even five minutes to apply from one tiny small pea sized amount and really really impressive to do i will set this on i'll finish my look and actually show you the second new becca product i have which is the shimmering skin perfector which is a highlighter a little bit more gold than i would like uh but this is a super cool product as well one that i'm definitely keeping and it comes with this little half moon brush so if i've set on a liquid foundation before i apply any blush because the majority of my stuff is powder based i would add a layer of mineral veil which is a bm product i've got the spf 25 because it is a liquid i do tend to dab it on this way and then go back and buff it slightly but just delicately you really don't need loads I found in the last two days over this and that because I love I love mineral veil like I need a hundred grams worth of a pot of this because I would just oh that would be you know what can we have that at Christmas like a 100 gram pot of mineral veil because if that was like 50 60 quid I would totally buy it I would save for that so that just really finishes off the foundation easily uh, that brush 
that I just threw for anyone that's interesting was another tart brush that came with my um oh the, the biker idiots are back uh this is my day guys dealing with these twits running up and down the road this came with the uh cc confidence in a cream no that's it cosmetics <laughs> creamy confidence foundation it was a double cc that was it uh and i love that brush that's one of my favorites so to touch now even with a little mineral veil it's still settling on i've still got a bit of stick but i can comfortably touch my skin and not feel worried that i'm going to get loads of residue come off like to show you it's all good my skin just looks perfected it doesn't look overdone one layer to me is absolutely fine you may want to set it in with another powder so to finish now that i've applied that i would go to a cheek color uh, let's see what i've got I have a lot of BM blushes and I'm going to use one of my favourites which is Rose Gold Radiance. Not necessarily a blush but I love it as a blush because it just gives a really delicate rose glow. Uh, to do that I'm going to come to, what brush is this? This is a large angled Luke's brush that I think again came from a glossy box. For me I would get a bit of blush in the lid, you've seen me do this a thousand times, dabble it onto the cheek like that. I always feel up for the cheekbone as opposed to doing this. You could do this, but then the minute you've done that, you fall. So it's not really the best idea to smile when you apply blush, in my opinion. So if I feel a little bit pink or a little bit like I've applied too much, I just bring back in this brush and just give it a delicate blend out. I love this Kabuki so much. Oh, this just needs to be sold everywhere because I have not seen another brush quite like this one. Uh, and then let's have a look at the highlighter just because it's here and I might as well show you guys. So you do have the half moon brush. I don't really fancy using that today. So I'm going to use my spectrum brush, which you guys have seen a thousand times on this channel. And I'm just going to get a little bit and I'm going to take that and look at that shimmer. Ha! Huh. It is absolutely incredible. It really, really is. I mean, just in a couple of small sweeps of that, let's see again. It just really catches the light beautifully. It's slightly more gold than I was anticipating. That's my only downside. And for an everyday look, this is possibly a little bit much. So again, I'm just gonna smooth it out with this. And that just finishes it beautifully. I don't feel too glowy. I don't feel too highlighted. It just catches the light in a really radiant way that's suitable for every day. But obviously you could actually bump this up for an evening look. I'm not one for <laughs> just not my taste and stuff. And that is how easy this foundation is. Now I'm three days in of trying this and I really love it. If it was going to set my skin off, my skin would have set off. If it was going to set my skin off, it would have been set off by now. That's a bit of a tongue twister. It's like the Pied Piper went to pick a peck of pickle peppers. Ha! <laughs> said it. <laughs> so if, I, if my skin was going to get really upset by this, it would have done it already. And instead, it's been absolutely gorgeous. The only downside I noticed to this foundation, and it's not actually to do with my forehead. Generally, one, my forehead is one of the first places that can go. The only downside that I noticed in terms of any oil oil gathering or fade was the nose it was slightly patchy last night and here's here's what it looked like late last night and this is my new bathroom by the way and the light is super bright in there so hopefully it's captured it correctly So the only downside was that it did go slightly patchy on the nose. I had a little bit of wear to the front and it obviously had just gathered just a little bit in the corners. But beyond that, it had stayed on well all day, all through my work. And I am super, so impressed by this. It would definitely be a repeat buy uh, if it carries on wearing as well as it has. So for me, brilliant product, Becca. I give it about an 8 out of 10 because I'm still in the early stages of trialing it. Uh, also... For anyone who maybe wants me to review it, and I've got this round the wrong way, so let's just show you this. Despite having bad experiences with Nails Ink, I have actually got hold of not only the QVC Unicorn set, but also the Unicorn set Duo, and I've been wearing them for about two weeks now. Uh, it is still on my fingers, but obviously since I've been at work, it's a little chipped. Uh, so if anyone wants me to talk about that, do leave me a comment and I'll work on that for a couple of weeks time. We've actually been here a little bit longer than I anticipated. So I'm going to say adieu and goodbye. I hope everyone enjoyed this. If you 
think I've done something wrong with either Becca product that I just tried do let me know if you'd like me to come back on a day where uh, my skin is not so good and try and cover up really bad blemishes also let me know uh, if you'd like me to try any kind of product within reason do let me know and thank you comment like share subscribe don't like do what you want don't get mean on the channel and I'll see everyone again for more randomness because this channel just don't make no sense bye everyone